Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to answer extra practice six from face to face pre intermediate uh, book second edition. Okay, so let's do the first uh, question. Okay, so here we say find 14 adjectives. Okay, so uh, the first one is moody and the second one is bright. Then we have polite, polite, then confident, then we have rude, patient, mature, ambitious, tidy, helpful, aggressive, easy going, honest, and the last one is selfish. Okay, so these are all the 14 adjectives. Okay, now in the next one, they say which adjectives from 1A have a negative meaning. Okay, have negative meaning. So let's see, just let's put it again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see, negative meaning, and we're going to uh, color it. Okay, with, let's see, blue okay negative meaning it should be and uh, bright polite confident rude okay this is negative meaning then uh, we have um, where is it patient tidy helpful aggressive okay should be aggressive this one here uh, okay let's have a minute Let's do it like this, then like this. Okay, aggressive. Then the last one would be selfish. Okay, so these adjectives have negative meaning. Okay. Okay, so and number two, write the comparative for form of the adjectives in one A, all the comparative form. Okay. So let's write it here. Okay, so first of all, we say mo mo dear mo dear. Okay, and number two, we have bright, so we will be brighter then more polite and more confident then ruder then more patient more patient then more uh, mature, more uh, ambitious, then tidier, more helpful. more aggressive yes uh, more easy going more easy going 
and here why we have more easy going easy going we have two words and two syllables easy going okay so we say more easy going and uh, more honest okay so the last one is more selfish okay so this is all uh, all of them here mm -hmm. again moodier brighter more polite more confident ruder more patient more mature more ambitious tidier more helpful more aggressive more easygoing more honest more selfish okay and we are, why we have here moodier why did we add i e r because it ends with y okay so we say moodier and brighter bright is one syllable e r polite two syllables more polite confident okay so three syllables we add more rude one syllable we add the r patient two syllables we add more mature two syllables ambitious three syllables tidier ends with y one syllable tidy tidy two syllables ends with y we add i e r more helpful okay so we say here more helpful uh, more helpful helpful two syllables more aggressive aggressive more easy going uh, more honest two syllables and more selfish two syllables okay so this is the answer okay here in exercise number two uh, we say find uh, fill in the gaps with as or than just let's make it a little bit smaller so we can write it here okay so let's see um you say here i'm taller than my uncle my sister aren't uh, we say as so we say as as patient as he isn't as good at English as okay these less interested in music than I am not as ambitious mm -hmm. as dance a lot more organized than and they are much older than me and this is all the answer here okay so the next one say here rewrite the sentences so they have the same meaning there may be more than one possible answer and let's see here all um, the sentences yeah okay so let's start writing the answer mm -hmm. okay so in number two we say the last exam was worse than the first exam so we say the first exam the first exam mm, let's make it smaller okay the first exam wasn't as uh, bad as the last exam okay so so this is number two then we're going to have number three um, tennis isn't as popular as football so it should be here football is more popular than tennis so you say football is 
مور پپیولار فوتبال اسمال پپیولار دان یس دان تنس اوکی اند نمبر فور Number four, we said Maria is better at English than Stephen. Okay, so it will be here Stephen. Uh, number four is worse. So you say Stephen is worse at English than. Maria. Five. Uh, he isn't as busy as me, so it will be um, not busy. I'm not as busy as him. Um, not as busy as him. Okay. Six. Sam says tall as me. So you can say, I'm, yes, say, say, Sam as tall as me. So you say, I am as tall as Sam. As Sam. Okay, so this is all the, the answer. Mm, any mistake here? Everything is good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move to the next one. Okay, 6p, write the words for these uh, relationships. Okay, for example, my uh, a boyfriend you had in the past is your ex-boyfriend. Your grand, uh, your grandfather's father is your. Mm -hmm. It will be great, great grandfather, great grandfather, and your mother's daughter is your sister, and your wife's brother, your wife's brother. Is your brother in law? Brother in law. And a person you work with is your colleague. And the person who works for you is your employee. Employee. The person you share a flat with is your flatmate. One word. The person who lives next door is your neighbor. Is your neighbor. Okay, and the person you work for is your employer. Employer. Okay. Okay, number five. Write superlative, write the superlative form of the adjectives in brackets. Use the if necessary. The if necessary. Okay. So, if necessary, we use what? The. So, we need here 
superlative form and done so we say uh, when I was at school Tom was the brightest student in our class Two, my subject was math so my best we do not use the because we have my after possessive adjectives we do not use the possessive adjectives and possessive s we cannot say my the best my best and here my subject was French so my worst and I thought science was boring uh, boring subject so here boring we say the most boring the most boring subject and interesting lesson where English uh, lessons okay so five the most interesting the most interesting Mm -hmm. the most interesting and basketball was a popular sport okay so basketball was the most uh, popular sport and seven big class had 40 students in it okay so we say the biggest The biggest uh, class had 40 students in it. And number eight, funny person in my class was my friend Leo. We say fa ni, two syllables, we say the funniest. Funniest. Okay, so this is all the answer. Okay, so write the opposite of these adjectives. Okay, so we say polite, impolite, considerate. We are just going to write the prefix here. Okay, so we, we, we just write here considerate. We add in considerate. Okay, so to be a considerate. In considerate organized it will be uh, this organized employed unemployed and healthy we're gonna write unhealthy mature immature Correct, incorrect, and honest. This, this is the opposite. Okay, number seven. Okay, so we say here, fill in the gaps with these words. Okay, so uh, we say, I, uh, it's spelled, is Dale there? Okay, I'm, so we say, right here, sorry. <clears throat> okay, I'm sorry, he's at work. Okay, can I? take the message okay then yes uh, can you ask him 
then call me back and six he can uh, get me okay seven so good morning can i help you with can i speak and and please I am afraid I am afraid okay guys so and afraid we said the meaning of afraid here is not I'm scared afraid is to, to say to to give like negative answer in a polite way okay as you say for example can I answer the phone and say, I'm afraid you can't. Okay, so that means the, the answer, you don't like the answer I, and it's negative for you. So I say, I am afraid. And nine, we say, would, would. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have 10, would you like to leave? Would you like to leave? Message, just tell her bell, uh, can, mm, cold. And she can ring. Okay. Okay, guys, and here progress portfolio six, take the thing you can do in English. For example, I can describe people's character. Okay, when you talk about selfish, mature, aggressive, <clears throat> I can compare two or more uh, or more people or things. When you talk about, for example, you say um, Istanbul is bigger than Ankara. I can talk about different relationships or for when I say for example cousin, ex-boyfriend, stepfather, sister-in-law, I can follow the story of a simple soap um, opera and I can take and leave uh, phone messages. This is everything uh, in the unit. Okay. Thank you everyone and goodbye.